Good morning, folks. We've got what appears to be a growing level of coronal activity on our star. We've had more earthquakes to mention, and we'll take a look at a space explosion that is baffling scientists, although probably more than it should be. Let's get started with the sun. And we find the last 24 hours with only minor flaring. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are within normal range for the time being, and while the new active region has quelled the Earth-facing plasma filament, there are certainly others to keep an eye on. Let's watch that sunspot group from birth to its current state this morning. It has continued to grow, and as of this morning, contains two relatively large umbral cores. It is already turning out away from Earth-facing position. And you can see how the plasma filament now feeds directly into that sunspot group, and behind that, you can see another filament turning in, with several more incoming as well. We will be watching the departing sunspots and those filaments as the primary eruption threats today, as well as keeping an eye open for more active regions coming over the limb. Seismic activity has continued. Indonesia took another one over the last 24 hours, but more interestingly, three strikes at the Owen Fracture Zone just offshore of Yemen and Oman in the Arabian Sea. Hopefully, those are not foreshocks. Top science news comes as an explosion in space the size of our solar system breaks scientists' expectation of what they thought was possible, the flattest explosion they've ever seen at a star. They hypothesize it may be a failed supernova, which basically just means it would be a smaller type of nova event, and while that is a great explanation, one wonders why they're so confused by it. Veteran observers must recall this animation model from NCAR, the government-controlled science team out of Colorado, basically showing the exact same thing on our sun. This is not a CME, it's going out in all directions, and we had previously questioned what it was doing coming from a paradigm that allegedly didn't believe such eruptions were possible on the sun. Folks, with all the various shapes and characters of nova events and their resulting nebulae, I am left this morning continuing to wonder, do they know something we don't? Is this more than an odd curiosity out of the government science team? Will the micronova that happens on the sun look more like this than what we've traditionally envisioned it would look like? By the time we find out for sure, of course, it'll be a little late to put it in the textbooks. We greatly appreciate your support. Links to our e-magazine, our store, and much, much more are found below the video in the description box. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.